And as a young man, he was summoned to the wars. Spent his best years with blood on his hands. Hey guys, it's Homo Moto. How you doing? I'm doing decent. A little pissed off, but I'm decent. Back out here at uh, Wheeler. I actually ride with a buddy. It's been the first time in a while I've ridden with anyone. I miss it. He just got that bike, so hopefully I'll have someone to ride with again. Since my buddy Mark got rid of his and won't get another one. I hate that too. I like riding with that, guy, uh, that kid. I say kid, he's a lot, lot younger than I am. But I'm pissed. They keep trying to take my TikTok. Come on now. I love TikTok. It's probably one of the only things that I like watching anymore. More than Netflix, more than Hulu, more than all of them. I like watching people create stuff. There's a lot of people on TikTok I really like. And most of them are bikers. So, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's got me upset, pissed off, angry, bewildered, <laughs> betrayed. Here's the thing. If the reason you want to get rid of TikTok is because you're afraid that people's personal information is compromised, how about you let the people that uh, that's potentially compromised worry about that? You know, if it's government stuff you're worried about, just make it where government people can't put it on their government phones. That's one thing. But when you tell me, or I hear it through the grapevine, when you tell me that Pompeo and Trump is wanting to ban TikTok completely, no, 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 no. That is not cool at all. That really pisses me off. I know that rumors are floating around. The reason that... uh. They're wanting to ban it is because there was a bunch of people going online and buying tickets to go to the Trump rallies and stuff and then not showing up. And they were doing it just to be uh, anti-Trump. I'm just going to leave it at that. And that pissed them off. If that's the reason you're trying to ban TikTok, grow up. I mean, really. How old are you? You're 74. We don't need people that old in the White House anyway. Look, the average lifespan of an American citizen is 78 years old. I specifically search for um, Americans, voters, basically. The average lifespan is 78 years old. Trump's 74. He gets four more years. He may not make it through that, yo. And another thing, like, Biden's running against him. He's 77. <laughs> There's no guarantee he's going to make it either. That, that, that guy's wanting to take all of our guns and stuff. We need some new, fresh blood running for president. Some people that have some common sense. Some people that are progressive and weren't stuck back in the Stone Age. I made a Facebook post under my real name, which I'm not going to say what that is. And I said, basically, you know, I know some older people, even older than Trump. They're really amazing people, super smart. Sharp as a tack. But he wouldn't make some of the decisions that some of these other politicians that are, I hate to say it, aged out would make. Also on my Facebook page, I said the perfect end of 2020 would be an alien to come down and take over running this country. And that would probably be a good thing. Because right now, nobody that's running is amazing. The only way Biden, I feel, will get it is... Um, if he picks an amazing VP. Because at his age, he's probably not going to make it all the way through the term. So his VP choice is critical. I mean critical. And the things he's wanting to do for poor folks, if he does it, that's great. Um, but his stance on the Second Amendment really bothers me. Trump, on the other hand, has done amazing things, but he's done some pretty stupid stuff, too. And <laughs> the most recent on the list is trying to take away my TikTok. That makes me angry. It makes me upset. Don't take my TikTok. That's not cool. Oh, man. Um, hang on a second. We're going to turn around here because I don't like going to this guard gate. I'm not going to pay $8 to ride to a restaurant, turn around, and come back. 
I usually just turn around here when I ride here. Ooh, gravel. I hate gravel. Oh. Yeah, I thought like a girl. Or made it squeal like a girl. But, uh, yeah, y'all check me out on TikTok if you haven't already. It's Homo Moto 72, just like all my other social media. <laughs> There's a petition floating around online on change.org, and uh, it's basically saying, don't take my TikTok. There's several other petitions out there trying to ban TikTok. I don't understand why. Look, if you got a problem with TikTok, don't get on it. Plain and simple. Just don't get on it. You ain't got to try to ban it for the rest of us. I don't like that at all. And there's some of the petitions to ban TikTok have uh, more signatures than the ones to let it stay around. Why? What business if it is it of yours? I just don't understand. I'm, how many of my subscribers are on TikTok? How do y'all feel about, yeah, I downshifted too far. I'm pissed. When I get pissed, I don't think. How many of my subscribers and other moto vloggers are on TikTok? I bet a bunch. Most people that are YouTubers, either watchers, creators, whatever, they follow across several platforms. Like I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all of it. And some of the other apps like Grinder. But uh, yeah, it, it's just, y'all do me a favor, please. Get on change.org and look for the petition to keep TikTok going because y'all take away my TikTok. I'm just not going to be happy about it. I think this guy can't hear my horn. I wanted to turn around. Uh, he just keeps on going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. I hope he knows where he's going because I don't. I think we turned left here. I don't know. I wanted to go back through the uh, park. But for real, I'll try to find the the uh, change.org petition, and I'll share it in the comments of the video if I can find it. But please help me out. I don't ask for much, but one thing I do ask for is don't take my TikTok. That's all I got for this one. I love y'all, and roll tide. I was a storm, and I passed right over you. And I tried to eclipse the sun. In the hopes that you love the tumble and spray in your face. And the sky.